And last but not least, we got this. Hi guys, we're here today at Republique. There's a French restaurant by Walter and Margarita Mansky. Husband, Husband and wife chefs. Obviously, they have French food here and they're really known for their weekend brunch. So that's, we're here on a Saturday and we're about to try their brunch. Everybody raves about it. Mm -hmm. They have really good, like, it's Really sausages. famous locally in LA. And apparently really good pastries. I guess Margarita is a James Beard nominated pastry chef. We're excited. Uh, so yeah, really excited to try those out. And apparently people say they have like the best French toast they've ever oh, had yeah. here. So I'm yeah, curious I'm a, to try I'm that out. I'm not a fan of French toast at all. So yeah, it took but, a lot to impress me, but I'm definitely interested in seeing what the big deal is. Yeah, because with a claim like that, you have to test it out. Exactly, um, especially at a French restaurant, right? So, exactly, yeah, French right? toast. Better not mess this one up. <laughs> the line is long, so we're just gonna go jump in and see how long it takes us to get a table. Yeah. All right, so let's go check it out. Let's go check it out. We ordered a bunch of stuff today. And as you can see, the ordering system is basically, you have to order as soon as you come in. You line up, place your order, and then go and find a seat. Right, then it's and open, open table seating. Table seating, and they bring everything all at once. Everything just came, dropped, dropped off pretty quickly though. Yeah. So you first, long. essentially you order all the pastries up front first, and then you can order individual dishes from the menu at the line. You grab a table, cafeteria style seating, mm -hmm. and, and then they'll just bring it to your table. Yeah. I guess one kind of negative maybe is that it all comes at once. I think mm -hmm. for, you know, especially with hot things, you want it to kind of come one at a time, yeah. but. Can't really course it. Yeah, but can't really course it out, but. But it's brunch, so. Yeah. <laughs> all right. I, so yeah, we ordered some really good stuff. Mix of pastries and then hot yeah. items. So yeah, so we got some. Yeah, these pastries look amazing. <laughs> two bun cakes. So cute. One's a matcha yuzu coconut bun cake and a raspberry black sesame passion fruit bun cake. Yeah. And then a Any? chocolate banana. Chocolate banana croissant. Croissant thing. Okay. This being a French restaurant, gotta try the croissant. Mm -hmm. Yeah, then... the pastry juice, as soon as you walk in, it's like a jewelry case. Mm -hmm. They look so gorgeous. So it's amazing. hard to pick just a few. Yeah. They're famous for their pastries there. And then, again, being another French restaurant, we had to try their yes. French okay. toast. Yes, this is the French toast. I actually um, don't like French toast, so this is gonna be difficult to impress me, to be honest. People have raved about this French toast, so I'm, I figured we have to try it, mm -hmm. see if it lives up to all the hype. Yeah. It's massive, it's like the size of- I know, it's like an inch It's like the size thick. of my face. Literally an inch thick. 
Uh, I think it's probably well, more than an inch and a half. Thick. I think yeah. it's almost two inches thick. Yeah, that's, that's like it's that's massive. almost two inches thick. Yeah. You guys can see, but. Uh, but anyway, and then he ordered this potato pancake, which looks really good. Which is really a salmon. Yeah, it's like kind of like a potato pancake. Yeah, it has like salmon potato pancakes with some salmon, smoked mm -hmm. salmon, poached eggs, hollandaise. It looks like dill. And we've got a dough. mushroom toast. Mushroom toast, some eggs. Mm -hmm. Also comes with ham. We got ham. We got ham on the side. Mm -hmm. And then we got some also yeah, some tea. Yeah, and then their drink, their drink menu looks amazing. Yeah. So I got a black sesame latte. And I got a love. Black Hong Kong milk tea. Being from Hong Kong, I'm gonna apply the strictest of criteria to judge their Hong Kong milk tea. Yeah. We'll see. Okay. Cool. This looks amazing. All right. Let's go. It's I'm gonna try the tea starving. first. Oh yeah, we should try the tea. Okay. All right. Cheers. Mm. Oh. Mm. Oh, that is good. That Pretty is close. Good. Definitely a, an American interpretation of <laughs> Hong Kong milk tea. It's not the OG, but <laughs> nice try. Mm. This is incredible. This is really good. It's not too sweet, which I really like, but it's got a really good nutty sesame, black sesame flavor. Mm. It's delicious. It's actually really, really bomb. I'm about to try a little bit of that. Mm -hmm. mm. Oh, that is so good. If you like black sesame, you have to get that. So Ooh. Good. That's so good. I mean, this is actually very similar to a, a Chinese black sesame dessert. Yes. Yeah. Except it's like, yeah, like hot. But it's not too thick, yeah. you know, it's not too heavy. Ob like obviously, it's very American to take a dessert and make it oh into my breakfast. Gosh. All right. Okay. Let's dig in into some real food. Yeah, this like pancake has smoked salmon, salmon roe, mm -hmm. and some dill, dill and poached egg. egg. Mm. This looks amazing. So good. Mm. Wow. 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 Oh, oh my wow. god. <laughs> what the heck? Mm. Oh my god. Oh my gosh, that's amazing. <laughs> it's like, like a salmon benedict yeah. on a hash brown. That is so my goodness. amazing. All of those flavors. Each of the ingredients are like super high quality. Mm -hmm. That dill. Yeah, you get the freshness of mm. the dill. Um, the eggs are perfectly cooked. Eggs are perfectly cooked. Super eggy. My I, love, I love the potato pancakes. It's awesome. It's very soft in the center. It's like mm -hmm. it's thick. Um, yeah. It's very soft. And it's almost like mashed potatoes or something in there. Or right. like hash browns, like you said. Yeah. And then, yeah, all the flavors. And then I love the the salmon roe that you never see in a breakfast dish. Right, exactly. But yeah, it adds elevates to, it a little bit. Yeah, it adds to the, the flavor too, even like the salmon flavor right. and the texture. Mm -hmm. It's like, it's like a salmon boba. My goodness. That's what you have. That is so amazing. Mm -hmm. mm. Oh yeah. That is definitely legit. Delicious. Perfectly balanced. Mm. Oh yeah. Mm. Amazing. Yeah. Perfect breakfast item too. Mm -hmm. All those classic flavors. Uh, yeah, it's bomb as Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, so this this place is super good. Everything's high quality, but expect to pay a pretty penny, honestly. It's not cheap, but it's good. And for the price, you know, you would hope it would be good. Mm-hmm. Mm. Hogging it. So good.
Okay, so this is the super famous French toast mm -hmm. uh, that everybody's talking about. Mm. It looks, I mean, it looks decent. It's nasty. Honestly, yeah, it just looks like it's a. It's kind of dry on the inside, actually. Looks like a big thinking, piece of like sponge cake or yeah, something. Yeah, because I was reading some of the reviews and they were saying, oh, it's like a custard on the inside. Yeah. And I'm not really seeing that. Right, but right. We'll Let's see. see. All right, boom. Syrup. Mm -hmm. It's good. The top looks really crispy though. Yeah, exactly. Mm -hmm. All right. Mm. That is pretty good. <laughs> That's pretty good. Very high quality ingredients. That is good. You can tell it's made mm -hmm. really high quality ingredients. That's right. It's Super fluffy. It's like biting into a piece of cloud. Very fluffy. Yep. Yeah. Actually, this is very dense. texture, dense bread. Yeah. It's like airy. It feels like very airy bread. It and is airy. What, what I actually like about this one is that most French toast, the syrup is like way too sweet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Too sugary. Too sugary. Yeah. And it overpowers the flavor right, of right. everything else. And, and then the denseness of the bread mm -hmm. uh, with the egg and then the thick. It's just too heavy for me, but this one's actually surprisingly light. Surprisingly really light. Good, surprisingly light French bread. Mm. I'm still not a French bread yeah. fan. They haven't converted me, but if I was to pick one, this would be it. It's very tender. The bread's very tender. Mm -hmm. And if you get towards the center, it gets a little bit more gooey in the center. So I can kind of right. what people are saying about the. the, the Custardy. Cut right into the middle here. Yeah, it's a little more gooey in there. But yeah, the bread's super soft. It's kind of melts in the mouth. And then the outside has that crispy texture. I think French of... bread is kind of more of a dessert than breakfast, so... Yeah. It feels Very kind deep. of weird. Mm. Right? Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. A little more custardy on the center. Mm -hmm. I can see why people think of custody. Yeah. Oh yeah, that is that's different. No, is it the best I've ever had? I don't know. I don't know. I haven't had French toast in a long time, but it is for me just because I don't eat French toast. Yeah. Um, however, again, it didn't convert me. Yeah, I don't. I don't think it is. I don't think it is because I think I prefer it to be a little more gooey. You know, and this is just kind of dry. No. I feel like it's a little more dry than, you know, drier than other ones I've had. I like it to be maybe a little more eggy. Mm. Um, but you can tell it's really quality ingredients. Like the, I'm sure they use like high quality eggs, yep. milk or whatever, cream. The flour. Flour. The, the bread. Yeah, I'm sure it's very high quality, but I don't know. In terms of like, do I want to like eat more of it? I'm like, I'm kind of good with this. So, no. But. Solid though. Solid. If you like French toast, try. yeah, worth trying. Yeah. For French toast, this is a twenty dollar French toast. Yeah, for a twenty dollar French toast. Yeah, this is uh, a little yeah. bit on the steep end. Yeah. You know, for that much, I better put some caviar in there or something. Yeah. Something different. Uh huh. Anyways. Okay. All right. Next. Next up. Alright, so last but not least, we're eating mushroom toast. It's pretty much look, just mushroom and eggs, spinach. Looks like some like hollandaise. Hollandaise sauce, yeah, on a piece of toast. <laughs> yes. yeah. A lot of people were raving about this. Too. A ton of people were raving. A lot of people were raving. Yelp, but said you have to get it, so yeah. we're so, going to. Uh, we'll try it out. Okay. Right, let's do it. Like, very. It's probably got some ham on the very, side. Yeah, yeah, some ham. Normally ham, but we obviously took it off. Mm -hmm. All right. 
Yeah. Lots of toast items. Here. Yeah, very carb very, heavy. Very carb heavy. Yeah, so if you're a keto or trying to lose weight, this yeah. may not be the spot for you. <laughs> but this might be a good spot for a cheat day. Yeah. Yeah, Alright. Put everything in there. Cool, let's try. Oh yeah. Yes. A lot. Mmm. Mmm. Mm. Okay. Mm. I mean, it, it tastes like mushrooms and toast. Yeah. <laughs> and eggs. Yeah. I mean, it's a great combo. Mm. The mushroom taste. Oh, yeah, super fresh, earthy. It's good mushroom. Yeah. But. Mm. I thought there would be something special, but I don't yeah. know. It's exactly what you expect it to be. Exactly, yeah. exactly. It's like, it's, yeah, there are no surprises here. Mm -hmm. Most people were raving about it, so I yeah. thought it would be they kind of stand out about it. Right. Mm. Mushrooms, toast, egg. Again, though, everything awesome. super high quality. High quality. Good egg. Yeah. You know, good, the eggs are amazing. Mushroom. The ham's pretty good, but yeah. Exactly what you expect. Tasty, but I wouldn't say it. Yeah. Out of this world. Yeah, like you could make this out, mm -hmm. you know, yeah. and it would taste exactly the same. Right. Right. Almost. Yeah. As long as you buy like far farmer's market mushrooms, mm -hmm. then you can definitely pull this off at home. Yeah. Some organic eggs. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. I know. It's like so good. We got the passion fruit, black sesame, yeah. the matcha yuzu, the matcha yuzu. and then I'm actually excited for the croissant, Nutella, banana croissant. Yeah, you love banana Nutella. Oh yeah. Woo. Let's rock and roll. Okay, I think I have to try the. Yeah, let's do that. The let's, sesame. Let's try that. Passion fruit. Check. Oh, very tart. It's a dense front cake. Moist. Yeah, moist. Oh yeah, really get that, that tartness from the passion fruit. Mm -hmm. mm. The cake itself is not too sweet. It relies on the exactly. the sugar of the passion fruit and the raspberry. I like right. that. Yeah, just a little Keeps subtle, subtle hint of the black sesame. Right. And yeah, you're right. The, the icing is really like concentrated flavor, but then the cake kind of dilutes. Exactly. Yeah. That's really good. That's awesome. Mm -hmm. Yeah, let's try this bad boy. Matcha, you do. Yeah, take some of that. Okay. 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 Boom. Huh. Mm. Mm. Very light. Yeah, that's really like mm -hmm. really subtle yuzu flavor. Yeah. Subtle matcha, subtle yuzu. That little cream, that's yuzu. Like dollop of cream. Oh yeah, and then maybe like a white cake. Mm -hmm. mm. I think I like the black sesame better though. Mm. It's definitely lighter than the black sesame. It feels like. You probably like it better. Mm -hmm. yeah. Not too sweet. All right. And then the croissant. The thing you've been waiting for. Yeah. Boom. Banana Nutella. Oh yeah. That's such a perfect combo. Yeah, banana and chocolate is like, always... You can never go wrong with banana and chocolate. And Nutella especially. Exactly. Good. Ooh, look how flaky that is. I know. Good. Oh. Mm. Okay. Mm. That's my favorite. Oh yeah. There's got some banana cream in there too, I think. Mm. Mm. You're right. Although I do think if you can get the croissant, you can time it perfectly when it's fresh. Mm. This would have been like twice as good. But even in this current state, it's still really good. Really good. That was definitely the best. Oh, oh yeah. The pastry's super flaky. Oh yeah. 
just kind of like crumbles in your mouth. Mm -hmm. But yeah, you bite into it, you get like a gush of, of like banana cream. Uh, so it's not too dry. And it's also not too sweet too, which I love. Definitely not like your typical American desserts where they douse it with sugar. They actually keep the sugar content pretty light. Yeah, not too sweet at all. Yeah. Yeah, this is really good. Yeah. Yeah, I'd say favorite banana Nutella. For sure. And sesame, and then yeah, Agreed. Legit. All right, All right so that one. was Republic. Mm -hmm. Their brunch. Yeah, their brunch at Republic. Mm -hmm. One of the most popular spots in LA. I, I thought it was definitely on the higher price point, I would definitely, say. Definitely, it's definitely not cheap. <laughs> um, uh, but the quality, yeah. the ingredients are really good. The egg, very fresh. Honestly, I think the oh. my favorite one was definitely the... Potato pancake. Potato pancake, Agreed. yeah. That, that was, was really well That was definitely the best <laughs> that one. That was really good. For and sure. It, yeah really yep. stand out and it tasted special. I feel like, I don't know, the French toast. I mean, if you like French toast, I think you'd like it, but I'm, you know, I'm not a big French toast guy. It just feels like dessert to me. Yeah, uh, I like French toast, but it was, I don't know, it wasn't very as special as I thought it was. So in my opinion, not the best French toast I've ever had, but. It's definitely it's lighter. Like it. It's a lighter it version. It's lighter, it's definitely oh, elevated, fine. but I don't know, yeah. it's okay. And then mushroom toast, then I think, uh, Predictable. I found yeah. predictable. It's predictable. good. I mean, don't, don't get me wrong. I yeah. love mushroom. I love eggs on sandwich. And if that's what you're in the mood for, it mm -hmm. literally nails it. It's perfect. Mm -hmm. But again, it's not something that you, that you can't can get, get yeah. anywhere else or even make at uh, home. But just again, super high quality ingredients, right? The eggs, the mushrooms are really good. But, you know, it's what you expect. Mm -hmm. And then the Hong Kong milk tea, I think, was a. Uh, I don't know. Six, seven out of ten for authenticity. Well, I love, yeah. Hong style. Not very authentic. No. Yeah. Six out of seven. Six well, out of seven. I love the sesame latte. That was really, really good. Um, that was good. That yeah. was. That actually tasted like a the Chinese almost, black sesame dessert. Yeah, it almost kind of tasted like a nutty hot chocolate, but obviously not chocolate. So that was good. I'm happy with that. And then the pastries. I, um, I think the Nutella banana. That was yeah, that was killer. amazing. That was killer. That was amazing. The cake Good. Yeah, they were good. good but yeah, very interesting. Yeah. interesting. Yeah. But it's fun cake. Yeah, fun nothing. Cake. Again, nothing too kind of crazy yeah, about that. But you can kind of expect what to taste, but mm -hmm. the, the flavor flavors are very interesting. It's, it was a lot of fun, for sure. Oh, also the line. You know, the, you do see a long line here, but actually it goes by really quick. Yeah, it goes really quick. When we first got here, it was kind of yeah. like, like, like leading down the 20, building. 20, 30 people, but it only took yeah. us maybe like 10 minutes yeah, to 10, get seated. Yeah, 10, 15 minutes to get yeah. there. So don't freak out if you see a long line. Yeah. There will be a line. Right. Yeah, and we got here about yeah. 11 something and we were able to find a table right away it was a little bit more crowded now it's yep. kind of later in the day and there's still a long line outside but yeah we're coming and finding seats and um, we're here on like a saturday too yeah, so saturday. it's not too bad honestly yeah, not too bad yeah and yeah, and the vibe here is pretty chill. You see people dress all kinds of ways. It's a good place to bring friends, family, even. Yeah. But it's kind of like a staple in LA. Everybody talks yeah. about Republic brunch. If you're in the mood for brunch and you want to check it out, then yeah. give it a try. Exactly. If you like our content, please click like and subscribe. And we'll see you in the next one. And thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for watching. Bye. Bye.